Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to try the best free-to-play friendly artifact event which is Artifact Compendium. Plus, we are going to speak about token exchange store, so you will be able to get the best value possible after watching this video, right? As I have mentioned before that Artifact Compendium is the best um, artifact event which you can spin, which you can try to get the desired artifacts. And yeah, finally, it's time for us to try our luck, right? As you can see here, we have 20 attempts, which means two legendary artifacts will be guaranteed. And yeah, you will need like 30k gems for this event. And I, I have said it before, try to collect 30k gems during KVK. So you will be able to try your luck here, right? In terms of rewards, well, my season was pretty bad. And I have Enduring Artifact Compendium, which is worst one. But still, I will try my luck. And I will tell you guys what would be my priorities in, in terms of rewards. And what would, be, what would make me happy, right? First of all, we can see on Enduring uh, Artifact Compendium that we have pretty bad rewards whenever, whenever we're gonna scroll down like Fang of Ashkari, Lucius Horn, Wolf Woman of Hailer, <clears throat> Ancient Tree Roots, Kuratas Ras and Storm Arrows, like generally everything which is from Tier of Arbon to Fang of Ashkari is the rewards which I don't want to get and I hope I won't get, right? Uh, the top one and the most important reward from here, in my opinion, is Galded Crossbow. And come on, like, if I will be able to get Galded Crossbow, I will be super, super happy. Number one choice will be Galded Crossbow. Number two choice should be Shadow Blades. And number three choice should be Mirage Orb. And if I will say fourth choice, of course, King Slayer, because I think. These four artifacts are best one here in terms of strengths and in terms of like uh, how you how generally the meta is going, right? I wish I, I could get Galgan Crossbow, but generally whenever I'm trying my luck in these kind of events, um, I just don't get the number one choices, right? Generally, I get number three or number two choices. So even if I will get Shadow Blades or even if I will get my Orb, I should be pretty pretty happy regarding the rewards right but the odds are against me in this case and the artifacts which i don't want are way too much right and if i will see another tier of arbon i might go crazy if i will see another kuratas ras or lucius lucius horn i might go crazy because these three artifacts kuratas ras lucius horn and tier of arbon are the artifacts which i'm getting a lot from the normal keys so i hope i won't gonna see those artifacts in this opening and i guess it's time for us to try our luck right let's have a finger crossed let's hope that i will be getting my orb guarded crossbow or shadow blades right let's try our luck and let's see how well we are going to get the like what kind of artifacts we are going to get and as always try to share your choices try to share what you are going to get from this artifact compendium right so here we go let's start it's it's a go time right first uh, opening and let's see epic one we got magic bomb actually great uh, artifact for beginners for mage players so take the notes guys take the notes the second one again epic let's see Clock of the Stealth, pretty good artifact. If you like to play as a cavalry and you want to sneak up on your enemies, you can go invisible with this Cloak of the Stealth and attack enemy from the background. Well, I'm 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 telling you small showdown regarding the even epic artifacts. Again, one more magic bomb. Uh, we are moving towards direction of the uh, mage uh, artifacts for epic ones. So let's continue. We already spinned. Uh, uh, we already opened three books, so let's try, let's see when the legendary one will pop up. A Butcher's Blade, Infantry Artifact for beginners, yet again, pretty cool, until you're gonna get legendary Infantry Artifact, right? Uh, four, um, open, we opened four books, let's go, fifth book, that's Epic One again, and this is the name which I always uh, struggle to pronounce, but yeah, this is the Epic Artifact which we get, right? 
uh 16 um okay another epic one all the time i'm i'm trying this uh, event i'm going to the pt on 10th attempt which is pretty bad right potion of rigor a uh, vigor engineering artifact pretty good even right now even with legendary heroes uh, let's go yet again another epic artifact uh, we are waiting for legendary ones and second butcher's blade i guess it's a good uh, that we are getting a lot of epic ones because we can actually scrub them whenever we want to do that right uh, so we opened seven books eight again epic one i guess tenth one should be the legendary one right uh, second clock of these tells well we are getting close uh, to legendary opening and let's hope it will be our desired artifact right let's go another epic one now we got clock of the stealth third time and the next uh, opening should be the legendary one right and let's see let's see let's see uh, next one of course it's a legendary one and let's hope that it's a gilded crossbow mirage orb or shadow blaze the fourth choice should be the king slayer but of course as an archer player i wish this one would be the gilded crossbow because that's the artifact i have desired to want for a long long time so let's check let's see if this card will be gilded crossbow right let's click come on Stolen's Blade, unfortunately, I have gotten Stolen's Blade last, like, two seasons ago from this opening, and that's not the artifact I want. Like, every single artifact which you can get from normal keys, you don't want to get from here, right? So, yeah, first pick was bad, honestly, I won't gonna lie, but it is what it is, at least something, right? At least it's not like Urata's Rust or Lucius Four at least it's an offensive artifact i understand i'm not cavalry player i'm not going to use Orlands blade but still better than kuratas or like stuff like that right so yeah we can continue we have another chance to get a um, good legendary artifact for me to use let's say like this uh, and i hope the next chance will be lucky for me right right now i'm just trying to go to the legendary peak uh, as fast as possible but i guess this game wants me to spend every single gems which i have but unfortunately yeah let's let's try to get to the uh, legendary one and maybe the last uh, last book will be the lucky one right because i really really will really really want the guided crossbow from this uh like compendium i understand entering one is bad but yeah, whatever, I guess, whatever I have in terms of opening, I should try my luck, right? Yeah, next one should be legendary one. This is the legendary one. This is should be the second and last legendary artifact, which will be pulled. And let's have finger crossed, because I really, really want to get Galded Crossbow. I know chances are really, really low. The first artifact we got was Solan's Blade, and let's hope... At least Shadow Blades, at least my Orb, and in a perfect world, this should be Galded Crossbow. Let's click, come on, my Orb, nice! Now I guess I have second level on my my Orb. I guess, well, this was my third choice. As always, I said, whenever I'm opening these compendiums, I always get third and second choice. Unfortunately, we could not get um, Galded Crossbow, but hey... Mirage Orb is a pretty cool artifact in my opinion, a lot of usage, especially with Bertrand and Tohar, and I think this will give me a lot more strength in terms of artifacts than, uh, of course, Solan's Blade, right? Uh, it would be amazing if I could get um, a Galded Crossbow and Mirage Orb together, but, well, this is the world, this is what happens, and I hope you guys had a way, way better the pools, even with Enduring one, because I think whoever got Galded Crossbow should be super, super happy regarding the pool, right? Uh, let's go, I will be uh, adding level to my Mirage Orb, which is pretty nice, you generally don't get the premium artifact levels in the artifact section so yeah that's my level two nightmarish revere the another topic which i wanted to discuss is token exchange the newest addition to the game you can see you are able to scrap your legendary tokens maybe you have awakened legendary heroes and you have too much tokens like useless, useless tokens you will be able to scrap those uh, uh, legendary ones right one uh, token scrapping costs i guess 100 or 200 
and scrapping um, currencies. And what's most important about the digital tokens and scrapping is the uh, token exchange store. Right here we have pretty good rewards, and I will tell you guys what would be the uh, best rewards to pick up. Right, one and the most obvious choice here is of course legendary hero uh, tokens for a G3. Uh, that's a 10 uh, tokens which i think everybody should take right 10 tokens is amazing uh, if you are tier 4 player of course you are going to pick up treaties you are going to pick up sentinel arrows and that should be like uh, legendary tokens a legendary medal and treaties and arrows if you are tier 4 should be your primary choice in terms of rewards in this token exchange store uh, regarding like um, uh, gold keys and artifact keys well i think speed ups are much better one hour speed up if you will buy all of them then i guess you can easily turn your attention towards universal artifact keys and then uh, gold keys right depending how how much uh, tokens you actually have uh, that's how you should be buying those rewards right and first priority should be legendary um, med tokens second one should be the legendary medal if you are tier 4 treaties and arrows then should be um, one hour speed up and then of course universal artifact keys and gold keys in terms of like hero epic uh, token well if you still have to um like level up the levels of ara and narwin the new epic heroes and i guess you can easily take this epic hero token and uh you will be able to add some levels to new epic heroes right this is a pretty cool addition to the game i know a lot of tier 5 players had a lot of tokens which was useless because they have already awakened Wellin, for example and they had 120 Wellin tokens so they will be able to scrub those useless tokens and get some value of course um, it would be better to have way more rewards here but at least this is already good and at least they correctly guessed what's the most important rewards um, in the game right like that's the legendary medal legendary token some treaties arrow that's the most important rewards especially for free-to-play players and especially for uh, low spenders right uh, yeah, we got Sorlan's Blade and we got uh, Myrajorv, not a Galded Crossbow, unfortunately. Well, I guess we have to try our luck next season. Um, like, unfortunately, my main um, Archer artifacts are all level 1, level 1 Shadow Games. Um, like, Heart of Kamasi is level 1, uh, the Rattle Spear is level 1, but my mage artifacts kind of look great, like Phoenix Eye level 2, Myra Job level 2, and Tier of Arbol level 5. This game sometimes tells me to play with mages, but I prefer to play with archers, because I think they are kind of best uh, troop type in the game, like, especially for me and for my gameplay, right? And yeah, Solon's Blade level 2, I'm not even sure if I will be upgrading this skill, uh, because I'm not going to use the Solon's Blade, I might add the Solon's Blade uh, like skill to something else to level up the star, right? Uh, as always guys, I hope you like the video, generally I like the compendium opening uh, videos and I hope you guys too share what you guys got from the rewards, maybe any of you got the uh, gold bow, crossbow, right? will be amazing. And as always, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos about this game. I wish everybody an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.